After the space community got an inside look at the new Glenn Rocket production facility in a recent interview, Jeff Bezos' company Blue Origin appeared to demonstrate confidence in their ability to manufacture hardware for this orbital rocket's maiden flight. However, two unexpected incidents involving the upper stage of the new Glenn rocket have led many to question the project's readiness and project's progress in readiness. Notably to date, the company has yet to issue any official statements clarifying the situation, further fueling public skepticism. So what exactly happened here, and why is Blue Origin so silent? All will be revealed in today's episode of Alpha Tech. And before we get into today's episode, we want to let you know, first of all, thank you for watching this, hearing this, and checking out our channel throughout this time. Right now, we are very close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, we humbly ask if you press that subscribe button. That way, we'll get closer to 100,000 subscribers, and it helps us, the script writers, the video editors, the voiceover artists, continue to make non-AI, human-generated content for you to enjoy twice daily. So again, thanks so much for watching and your support. All right, let's continue. Blue Origin, the space startup company founded by Amazon's Jeff Bezos back in 2000, has always been quite secretive. Unlike its slightly younger rival, SpaceX, many of Blue Origin's advancements take place behind closed doors and without the fanfare. However, reports indicate that even as Blue Origin's nearing the first launch of its giant New Glenn rocket, a potentially serious competitor, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy spacecraft, several sabotaging accidents have occurred on the rocket production line. The first incident was a partial explosion of the New Glenn upper stage, apparently due to handling errors. The second incident involved a segment of the New Glenn rocket undergoing stress testing, which may require pushing the materials in the rocket beyond unexpected levels. But in this case, the vehicle failed and exploded in the building where it was being tested. The latter test incident was reportedly serious and, in the worst case, could have damaged other parts of the factory or harmed those working there. And if the stress test revealed that the rocket structure failed as much lower levels than expected, it could also affect the future of the rocket's design and testing process. But the first fault of New Glenn could actually be more concerning. Handling structures under high pressure, like rocket fuel tanks, is a complex and challenging task. Although we do not know the exact details, in this case, it seemed what happened was that the workers moved the rocket stage from exposure to the typical hot weather of Florida into a cool AC space without properly managing the pressure valves. Once cooled sufficiently, the internal gas pressure dropped excessively, making the structure unable to withstand it, as illustrated in this clip involving a rail fuel tank. Proper and safe handling of rocket stages as they move through a factory is a crucial part of any space company's operations, and it's even more critical for the new Glenn rocket, which is designed to be reusable. These failures are particularly notable because Blue Origin's been in the spotlight for its toxic workplace culture, coupled with several delays in its rocket program and that of its rival rocket launching company, ULA, which is buying BE-4 engines from Blue Origin to power their new Vulcan rocket. Blue's never been successfully able to put a rocket into orbit, unlike SpaceX, although it has gotten some success with its smaller manned New Shepard rocket, which follows a simple pop-gun orbit up to the edge of space, then returns back to Earth. So, how might the upper stage failures of the New Glenn affect their future missions? Frankly speaking, this incident underscores the challenges that Blue Origin faces as it ramps up production of the New Glenn rocket, which is already four years behind schedule. The damaged hardware was intended for the second and third flights of New Glenn's rocket, expected to follow the projected launch in October. Blue Origin asserts that they're on track for the October launch, which is very important for NASA's mission known as Escapade, a mission aimed at sending two twin spacecraft to Mars to check out its magnetic field. Because at that time, Mars will be close enough to Earth. After October, the planets will not align like this again for about two more years. And moreover, this incident has also caused some significant concerns about Blue Origin's ability to meet its obligations under NASA's HLS for the Artemis program. As a key participant in this prominent initiative to return humans to the moon, Blue Origin is expected to provide reliable launch capabilities and hardware. If the damaged rocket stages were intended for subsequent HLS-related missions, the impact could ripple through Blue Origin's entire timeline, causing even more delays. Without clear info from the company about the extent of the damage and the steps being taken to mitigate any obstacles, there is growing concern whether Blue Origin can achieve the critical milestones of NASA's Artemis program. Moreover, the new Glenn rocket also plays a role in Blue Origin's ambitions to compete with SpaceX and ULA for lucrative U.S. national security missions and commercial satellite launches. 
It also plays a central role in the backlog of commercial launches for satellite operators, including Amazon's Project Kuiper, which aims to expand global broadband access. Under the leadership of the new CEO, Dave Lim, Blue Origin's undergone a transformation, prioritizing core projects and bringing in new executives to streamline operations. The company has made strides in overcoming previous hurdles, boosting production and delivery of the BE-4 engines, which also power United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan rocket. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and the world's second richest person, has invested heavily in Blue Origin, considering it his most important work. He envisions a future where space travel is more accessible and affordable, emphasizing the importance of reusability, manufacturing engineering, and other advancements. But even with so much new talent, it does not mean that Blue Origin can become successful immediately, as it still faces several major technical barriers. Overall, all of Jeff Bezos' goals and plans will be affected by the recent incident, although we do not yet know to what extent it will impact them. And this is even more concerning as Blue Origins remained silent for the past two days since reporters discovered the incident. This lack of transparency has sparked speculation and concern within the aerospace community and among industry observers about the potential impact of these incidents on Blue Origins' timeline and capabilities. The company's decision not to disclose the nature or cause of these incidents has made it difficult to assess the actual extent of the damage or understand what remedial measures are being taken to prevent this happening in the future. What are they so afraid of? Are they scared of getting embarrassed in front of SpaceX? Or maybe they're just overly confident in their manufacturing capabilities after the success of their BE-4 rocket engine flying on the Vulcan. While it seems like we might also start to get excited about Blue Origin from Jeff Bezos' interview, this is yet another reminder that they still haven't proved that slow is smooth and smooth is fast, or that they do it right the first time. What we see is that they're making all the same mistakes as any other company, except that they're even slower than a typical aerospace company in development and recovery from failures. Perhaps they've been too confident with the slow, steady approach to the tortoise without being on the right path to launch on schedule and declaring they've succeeded. In the end, we need an explanation from Blue Origin. Only when they speak up will all this speculation about the impact on missions or safety get resolved. Silence causes a breakdown in relationships. Just as Blue Origin might lose public support once again just after releasing a video about their factory as a new PR move to promote New Glenn, the orbital rocket Bezos proudly touts. Blue Origin has faced significant criticism for its lack of transparency, particularly in light of recent incidents involving the New Glenn rocket stages. Unlike other participants in NASA's Artemis program, such as SpaceX and Boeing, Blue Origin has consistently chosen to withhold info about its progress and challenges. While these companies have shared details about their development timelines, technical setbacks, and corrective actions, Blue Origin remains notably silent on such matters. This secrecy creates a cloud of uncertainty around its projects and raises questions about its ability to meet critical deadlines and deliver on their promises. You remember the explosion of Blue Origin's BE-4 engine that was uncovered by CNBC in mid-July last year? In fact, the explosion actually happened a month before that. Blue Origin stayed silent about this incident until reporters discovered the event and published it. Perhaps it was only in response to the public uproar that Blue Origin began to openly reassure fans with statements like they were investigating the incident or that the incident wasn't too serious and needed time for research. The contrast between Blue Origin's approach and that of its peers is stark. SpaceX, for instance, has been relatively open about the development of its Starship rocket, frequently sharing updates on its testing milestones and failures. Similarly, Boeing has disclosed info about the progress and issues with the SLS. ULA, despite its long-term partnership with Blue Origin, still publicly disclosed details of the Vulcan's rocket progress, even if it involved a failure like the Centaur's second-stage explosion in April last year. With Tori Bruno's thorough explanation, it's undeniable that he confidently shares info about his project, and even though it's delayed and an expensive rocket compared to the market. By providing this level of transparency, these companies foster trust and accountability, and that's especially important when billions of our taxpayer dollars are at stake. Given the substantial public funding Blue Origin gets for its work on the Artemis program, there's a strong call for this company to adopt a more open and accountable approach. Stakeholders, including the public, deserve to know how their money is getting spent and what progress is being made toward the ambitious goals of the Artemis program. Increased transparency not only builds confidence in Blue Origin's capabilities, but also ensures that the company stays aligned with a broader mission of advancing human exploration into space. That's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.